Hello and welcome back to Groundworks Place KSP and just after our island trip we are have gotten some science and total of 108 so let's uncover the next bit and the next bit shall be let's see advanced flight control landing Landing is actually tempting. Aerodynamics. Advanced construction. Not yet. Fuel systems. I think fuel systems because I really want to be using these fuel tanks and all that jazz. So I think I should go with that one probably. Or advanced construction. Let me just check. Uh, propulsion systems. That's no, no. I think I'm gonna go with the fuel systems. Yeah. These are kind of important and these are cool. So, all right, let's take that one then. Do I feel committed? Yes, good. All right, now, let us go. And this time I had something else in mind. I had in mind since I would be like to launch, you know, uh, missions going all the way up to moon. So I need a communication satellite and to build one, I'm just now ch checking out what I can be building. All right. So pods, I want to make a small communication satellite just to see that it works and that I'm able to launch it into the orbit. So today's episode, I'm afraid it will be a little bit shorter. And as you can see, I'm not running it at times acceleration because the content it itself is rather short. Today, small communication satellites in the orbit. I just want to see that the remote control of the probes and everything works even from the orbit. So, Octo, yes. Fuel tanks. Let's see, what shall we put? Um, we need to be putting some uh, communications, obviously. That we'll put on top, yes. Good. I'm also gonna go with the simplistic design, as, as simple as I can make it. Battery, good enough like a couple batteries yes tank i think small one should do it flt 100 just the regular stuff all right then i want to be making let's see what can else can we put communication obviously now comes the fancy stuff Communitron, one of those. I want to angle it so that it can be controlled on ascent because uh, others antennas, other antennas would snap if I was, you know, ascending. And then I want to have one high gain antenna as well. Come on. Uh, because I want it to work as a relay. It says it can handle either direct communications or relays. So, something like, oh, I don't like the looks of it. So, two more batteries. Yeah. That's a lot of batteries. Yeah, but this looks much nicer. All right, I'm sold. Then we'll need some power generation stuff, I guess. Science, I don't need engines first. Let's put the terrier. Basically, I'm testing a proof, test proofing a design that I will be using later on. So let's call this set small relay set 
Mark 1. Small satellite relay, so let's save it. Perfect. Alright, and actions 1. Toggle the antenna. Action 2. Toggle the other antennas. Alright, save. Now, we have to add more stuff to it. Aerodynamics, payload. I don't think I need payload as such. Fuel tanks. Yeah, we should build onwards, I guess. Shall I go with this fuel tank? No, not yet. Just give me a second. Decoupler first. We do the decoupler first. Perfect. And then we put the fuel tanks. Antenna I could be placing here as well. That might not be a bad idea. Alright, let's just check is if it's still on action group. Yes, it is. Perfect. Then we have a decoupler on top. Because on top I wanted to put uh, another decoupler for aerodynamic purposes. Yeah. So the rocket is more, you know, sleek. It would be easier to ascend. Alright, now let's see, command and control, oh, I need that as well, right, almost forgot about that one. There we go. Okay, time to put the real meat of things, which are the tanks. Two, maybe three, I think I should put three, right? Then let's put the swivel underneath. So let's see how Swivel can handle these things. Alright, now let's check the staging, because you have always have to check your staging. That's a total of 2666. Now, aerodynamics. Let's put it everything white. All right, now, 2666, I don't think that's enough to make it to orbit now, is it? Let's put the radial decoupler. And then I want to be putting the fuel tank, this guy. Those are a little bit big-ish, don't you think? So maybe a little bit lower, somewhere about here, like four of them, alright. Now I want to be placing hammers and then I want them to uh, maybe have this aerodynamic cones on top, aerodynamics, yes, aerodynamic nose cone and then the fins. Now that's 3700. Oh, that's much better actually. And then we put these holders. Perfect. These to fire at the same time. Nice. Let's just bring everything down and I think that we will be going for the launch. 3500, I think it's good enough. And it's low tech, so it should work. Thrust to weight 3.27. Actually, I should limit the thrust to be around 1.8, between 1.8 and 2. One eighty-five, that sounds right.
All right. Let's launch it. All right. Three, two, one, and hit it. Up and up it goes. And the rocket wobbles a little, but I think it shall all be all right in the end. Looks kind of stable. Acceleration looks good. Uh, Apoapsis is climbing steadily. I think our thrust weight is a little bit overkill, but uh, well, there's no way going back now. I mean, the SRBs are very different from the liquid fuel burst, bo you know, boosters. Liquid fuel you can always throttle up, throttle down, and basically SRBs are just light the matchsticks and it burns, sort of like firecracker, same thing. Okay, our apoapsis is around 30 kilometers, so I should be pursuing the gravity turn a little bit more aggressively. Forty-five kilometers. And I mean the rocket is accelerating and look we still have three thousand two hundred delta V. That's more than enough to put us into a new orbit. At this altitude and apoapsis we will have even you know to spare. So the apoapsis is hundred and one and time to prepare the maneuver to circularize. If this uh, satellite proves successful, then I will be making more of them and deploying them. I know that with Comnet it's not exactly necessary as it is with Remote Tech, but I still kind of think it's a kind of, you know, sane design, I would say. So I'm thinking to put it into around 300 kilometers orbit and yeah. All right. There we go, finally into the atmosphere, out of the atmosphere, sorry. 1694 meters a second uh, to burn and let's decouple the nose cone. We no longer need it. And let's extend the, the communitron antenna. All right, and our burn time is 41 seconds and the maneuver node is due in 58 seconds. Oh, look at that gorgeous moon in the background. Yeah, at moments this gets really beautiful and serene. We'll initiate the burn when the T minus 21. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Ah, we can already start the burn now. Doesn't hurt. Because the last section will be on Terriers, which has much, much lower thrust to weight, so. Nine hundred meters per second still remaining. Making some tiny corrections with an SAS. And guys, and uh, as opposed to the other satellites which I typically return, this one is designed to permanently stay in orbit. And there we go, we are circularized. Stage. And let's continue shooting straight for the 300 kilometer orbit. And as soon as we reach and circularize around 300 kilometers, I think I will be wrapping it up for this episode because the next one will be new adventures. And I think in the next one we will be probably going to do a probe measured, uh, you know, approach to the moon. Now, 
let's just follow our relay up to its apoapsis at which point we will be finalizing our circularization burn one minute to apoapsis i won't even make a maneuver node i'll just you know sas open these the antennas are extended flip it orbit prograde and then just hit the accelerator button until we get 300 by roughly 300. It doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't need to sync with anything, and let's do a screenshot. Wonderful. Looks kinda cool. Our very own first communication satellite. And just realize one thing, I have actually forgotten the solar panels, which means eventually it will run out of battery and die. Well, corrections are coming in the future episodes. Until then, as always, you know what to do. Like if you like the video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundfork signing off.